let her go. Are you going to be all right? It's about time somebody kicked those nuts the hell out of here. I'm telling you, it's getting so a fella can't get away from the goddamn sickies no more. My name's Buddy. My name is Paul Dean. Paul Dean, huh? Yeah. City fella, <laughs> from the look of you. But I won't hold that against you. Come on over to my room and I'll uh, give you a cup of coffee. Coffee. That's right. Real coffee. Come on in. Take a look at this. I found a whole case of this shit down in a storeroom after everybody left. Is there anyone else here? No, nobody to speak of. Relax. You're not in the city anymore. Just relax. You know, this, uh, this coffee's worth five bucks a pack now. Are you all right? You okay? Peace, I... I don't know what the hell you got. I don't want it around here. I understand. I'll be on my way. Wait a minute now. You have your coffee first. Here. Sip on this now. See how that is. I have to leave. Yeah. You gonna be able to take care of yourself now? Yeah, I think so. Yeah.
That'll be 105, right? Where you been, mister? Silver only? Company policy. Hotel in town? Yeah, the Joshua Hilton. What do you want? I need a room for a few days. Okay, just a minute. I, uh, I wasn't expecting anyone. Nobody comes around much anymore. That's why I'm not wearing much makeup. Anyway, who can afford it these days? But I would give anything for a brand new tube of lipstick. <laughs> How about the room? Say, I, uh, I don't know you, do I, honey? No, no, ma'am. What's your name? I mean, I can't give you a room until I have your name. Dean. Paul Dean. Oh. Call me Maggie. I'll call you Paul. When I think of all the lipsticks I've left in dressing rooms all over the country. But <laughs> that was a long time ago. You know, folks don't care much about Joshua anymore. I've only stayed because I've got no place else to go. How long are you planning to stay? I only have a couple of days. I'm not really sure. Oh, well, this is a nice place. We've got electricity from 7 to 9 and the water's free. But don't expect me to clean up your room. I don't clean. Never have. <laughs> How do you pay? Oh, no, not that. We use that for wallpaper around here. What will you take? Well, what's in the container? I need this for my work. I'm a doctor. Oh. Well... <sighs> What about that ring? It's gold. Should be worth more than a couple of nights. Well, <laughs> there's always extras. <laughs> mm? I see.
Are you in there, Paul? Just a minute. You don't have to keep the door locked. You've got nothing I haven't seen before. Say, this place looks shitty enough. What are you doing in here? I've been working. I won't hurt anything. I, uh, I thought you might want to know there's food next door. Thank you. Thank you very much. I don't know how you take this heat. Got anything to drink in there? Has some canned water inside. Good, Ellen. Take one if you don't mind. I don't mind as long as you paid for it. Hey, if that methane is clean, why don't you uh, fill it up? Oh, I hope you got some money to pay for all this. Nobody's filled up their car with gas in years. I wondered who that van belonged to out back there. I could use a little something to eat. Well, all we got left these days, pal, is canned fruit, canned beer, and canned soup. Canned soup. I'll be fine. Mm. Boy down at the gas station said you paid him off in silver coin. Take one for the soup. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, soup's on. Enjoy yourself. Thanks. <laughs> Can you believe it? I gave up New York for this place. Where are you from? Near Los Angeles. Oh, yeah? I hear they got big trouble out there. That's why I left. Hmm. Well, I guess we both did the right thing. I left New York for that same reason. Hell, I love that city. That's before it got crazy, that is. And all that atomic shit started falling out of the skies. That's how I got this, hmm? Hell, people started dropping dead right in the damn street. <laughs> I had to get out. <sighs> hey, I'm, I'm sorry, pal. I'm just making a little dinner conversation, that's all. No, I just lost my appetite. I see. It's okay. You're the first friendly person I met in this town. 
<laughs> well, everybody needs a friend now and then. Hey, Collins! Collins! Collins, we're here. Collins! Collins! Collins. Hey, I really need you guys today, huh? You <laughs> Damn it, I'm sick of these songs, Collins. You had the same crap for a year now. What can I tell you, hon? Soup good? It's OK. Why don't you mind your own business, Rickus? Hey, why don't you kiss my ass? <laughs> <laughs> Rickus. Hey, look, Collins, I mean, fair is fair. I mean, you can't have the girl and the lemons, right? Yeah, pick one. 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 Hey! I said, mind your own business. <sighs> you want to know about business? You see that scar face? I was in business once. I worked for the big business boys. They gave me that. That was my brand, because I worked in the suburbs. You don't know about the suburbs, do you, sweetheart? The suburbs was where they put orphans like me to work. Yeah, I know plenty about business. Get him off my Jeep. Hey. You know we were just getting back there. Why don't you stick around and have a beer with us? Hmm? We ain't that bad. No, thanks. <laughs> yeah, well, um, I could make you stay. I'll leave her alone. She's no fun. Hey. I decide what's fun around here. Don't push your luck. Playing games, Rickus?
<laughs> you ain't gonna shoot us, Scarface. <laughs> you can't shoot us, Collins. You know why? No. Why? Because <laughs> we're your only customers, Mr. Scarface. <laughs> <laughs> Call me Scarface one more time and I'll blow your nuts off. Oh. Yeah, I think we're just going to uh, stretch this scar a little. I mean, right on over to the other side. That's it. Hey. OK. Uh, all right, you won this time. No, I'm done. Besides, uh, we got better things to do. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm fine, Pat. You're going home. Yeah, uh, lose one playmate, we find another, huh? Yeah. Look, I don't want any trouble. I just want to go back to my room. Well, who said we wanted any trouble? We just want to know what's in this box. Nothing. Some medical equipment. Medical? Like drugs, no, huh? No, no, there's no drugs. No drugs, huh? Well, I think we ought to look anyway, because this guy looks really loaded to me, huh? Oh, there's value in that for some silver. Let's have it! It's in the bag under the seat. That's good. Uh, that's good. It's nice and friendly. Go get it, Shell. <laughs> Whatever happened to that silver yeah. thing we had in the diner, remember? Yeah, what about that, huh? You think we'd forget? What about that container you had in the uh, diner, huh? Listen, there's nothing in yeah, that cylinder. That's that. what? Oh, so, yeah, well, I think we're just going to take a look. All right? Take a look, see. Watch him. All right. Come on now. Okay. Finders keepers. This thing and let's take him with us. Come on.
<laughs> Come on, let's open that can. <laughs> open it and you're dead. Not here. <laughs> well, you can't live forever, <laughs> huh? Yeah. yeah. Can I open it, Rickus? Can I? Rickus, I want to know what's in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, thanks. Don't. What's in there? There's something wet in here. You feel better? You don't talk much, do you? Maybe a little rattlesnake tea will loosen your tongue a little. Hey, take it easy. Here, drink this. It's a specialty of the house. It'll make you feel a whole lot better. Hey, listen, I'm just kidding. It's made from lemons. It's good for you. Help you there, fella. Sure is hot out here. I don't know how you take this heat. It uh, has its moments. You live here? Yeah, I have for some time now. And you've been around here the last couple days, I guess. I guess. Truth is, I'm uh, looking for a friend of mine. That's so. 
That's so. Yeah, he's a tall, thin fellow. Not feeling too well, either. No, I haven't seen anybody like that around here. Nobody comes around here, except the sickies. Damn. I really don't like liars. God damn it, now wait a minute, no, Jesus, don't. What are you doing? A little hungry. Got anything to eat? Yeah, we got canned fruit, canned beer, and canned soup. And you're in luck today. Got a little lemonade. Fresh lemons, too. No kidding. Yeah. Fresh lemons? Right. I'll take one. Good. A little quiet around here, isn't it? Yeah, that's the way we like it. That's very good. How do guys like you stay in business out here? I mean, nobody travels anymore. Well, you're here, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I gotta be the only one crazy enough to drive in the desert these days. Oh, no. There was a guy out here just the other day. No kidding. Hey, this is real good lemonade. I'll uh, come back and get something to eat. See you later. Yeah. See you later. Where do you think you're going? Back to town. And get beat up again? I need my equipment. Come on, you need to sit back down. You've got to rest. I've no time to rest. Don't you understand? No, I don't. As a matter of fact, I don't even know what I'm getting involved with. Listen, I'm trying to help you. You should just stay here where it's nice and quiet. It was a lot quieter before that damn Rickus came to town. Then why do you stay? Hell, I don't have a choice. I could have gone to the city when my father died. But they just put me in one of those work camps. Put a tattoo on my arm. I'm still a whole lot better off here. Look, I need your help. I'll tell you what you want to know, but first, take me back to town. Okay, I'll do what I can. Looking for something? Oh, hi. Uh, no, I was just uh, poking around. Hey, easy, okay? 
The uh, guy up at the diner said uh, maybe a friend of mine was through here today, and I thought maybe you might have seen him, so I came back to ask you. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, mister. You're the first person I've seen around here in the last couple of weeks. Is that right? Well, listen, uh, that fellow did seem to be a little off. Maybe he was mistaken. Yeah, he's a little off. Open the door. What do you want? Open the door, lady. Out of the way. Now you just wait a minute. What do you think you're doing? Well, ma'am, I'll be checking in here tonight. I'm sure you'll have room. Rickus? Rickus? Bring it. Here, Zeke. It's eating me up, ain't it? I'm scared. We'll figure something out, Zeke. Rickus. Promise you won't let me die. I'll do what I can, Zeke. I'll do what I can. What are you doing? Hey, I'm sorry. It just came out of nowhere. Please. I'm sorry. I mean you no harm. Stop! Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you want with the guy who owns that van? Oh, you know him? Oh, we worked together, and I was just following him, and I'm... We're friends. Please, we're friends. don't look like such friends, mister. Please, can I get up? You move real slow. I mean you no harm. 
You got any more of them silver wafers you've been uh, yes, handing yes, out? Yes, yes, huh? yes. I have no use for them. Go ahead, take them. The gun! Drop the gun! Christ, a merchant. We should be honored to have an honest to God merchant. Shut up! Get her out of here! Yes, sir, Mr. Merchant, sir. Anything you say. I've seen your types in the suburbs. Sir! You got that right. Why don't you come back to us? Like hell, I will. And move it out of here. Move it! Do what he says! Can you? I can't even help myself. You've got to talk to me. You work for the merchants, don't you? Everyone works for the merchants. That thing on your stomach. A new strain of parasite. I deserve it in a way. I created it. For the merchants? Why? I fought for the government. They're so mixed up with the merchants now. They work for one another. This thing, as you call it, is growing. It's dormant now. But it will soon grow larger and kill me. Paul. There's another one on that kid's arm, the only other one. I destroyed the rest when I found out what the merchants intended to use them for. I need that other parasite to study, to find the cure. How? I don't know yet. I only know this, when it reproduces, it will cast millions of microscopic spores into the air. And wherever a spore touches you, a parasite will grow. I'm not asleep. Can't sleep either. I know. Because of Zeke. Don't you understand? It's just like the work camps. It's happening to me all over again. You can't care about people anymore. You just can't. Zeke. 
زيك Jesus. Damn thing killed him. Where is it? dead. Syringe. Quick. Here. <laughs> that parasite. I can't find the cure unless I have it. It's that simple. I was wrong to think I could do it any other way. But how can we find it? We have to get to that boy. It's the only chance. Stay put. Keep her still. Collins? Collins! Breaking in during off hours, Rickus? <laughs> A great opportunity to blow your ass away. Dana's in the car. She's dying. Go look for yourself. All right. And you'd better be telling the truth, punk. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right, get around behind to the boarding house. I'll meet you inside. Get off there. Now! Put her on the bed. <laughs> Look. 
Oh my God. Jesus. Maybe we can try to cut it off. We tried to cut it off Zeke, and he is dead now, and she will be too if we don't find a doctor. The boarder who was here yesterday said he was a doctor. Oh. Pat Wells knows where he is. Where? At her cabin. You guys stick with Collins at the diner. I'll be back. Paul? Paul? I'm sorry. Collins wasn't there. Damn it, don't give up. There's no cure, Patricia. There's no cure without the other parasite. That's who I'm looking for, Paul Dean. Where is he? Who are you? I said, where is he? I don't know. You know you're harboring a fugitive from the state, don't you? I'm not harboring anyone. What do you want? Dean has something that belongs to us. And I know that he's here somewhere. Well, he's not. Well, I don't mean to be forward, miss, but I know that he is. And I don't have a lot of time to waste. I don't know anything. What? Your memory coming back to you? Hmm? Hmm? Tell me where he is. You're very unpatriotic. Your government does everything it can to protect you. And you are a damn ingrate. Now, where is he? Tell me where he is! Go to hell! Now, Paul Dean, where is he? Where is he? Wells!
Who did this to you? A man in a suit. A merchant. What did he look like? He had blonde hair. Wolf. Wolf was a government liaison man on the project. E easy. I knew he'd show up. How are you feeling? Okay. Sound. What do you mean? Sound is the answer. We can kill it with high frequency sound. We've got to get to that other parasite and extract the sample of its fluid. And then what? I can determine its frequency and use it to kill the one inside me. I still need your help. If you're strong enough to go. Let's go. Daily? Upstairs.
Patricia. Draw the fluid! Quick! Oh my god, I stomach. Uh, Pat! Where are you? Come on, hurry! Oh, give them to me. The equipment and the jeep. Take it easy. Get me downstairs. Easy now. That's it. Stay. I'll take my bottle of water. Easy. Ease down. That's it. I need electricity. The generator's out back. I'll turn it on. The syringe. You shouldn't have come down here, old man. That's it. Higher. Higher! That's it. Save my life. I, I guess you owe me one, Scarfett. It's over. You killed it. Not yet. Not till we kill the other one. I can't let you do that, Dean. I know about that gun. Don't go for it. I need that parasite. Don't go for that gun. Go on, try it. <laughs> Dean! Dean! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
It's over. 